again everyone uh, back to the one two three punch board uh, last time I showed you how to make a very simple envelope um, using the board this time I'm going to show you how to make um, an envelope like a 3d envelope so it's an envelope with about one centimeter depth in it and this is great if you're um, saying wanting to send cards you know with bits that stick up um, if people that make you know this beautiful handmade flowers you don't want to squish all that so these cards are really interesting and you can make it with the same board so again here's my board and um, I've picked my size so I'm going to do a square card this time and I have looked up my dimensions and um, I know what I'm doing there so what I've done is I've cut out my again square piece of paper now with these cards you probably are better off using something a little stronger than normal card so this one's got a little bit more substance to it um, because you want it to stay like a little box I suppose so um, I've got my little piece of paper here and I'm ready to go okay so like last time need my stylus and I'll definitely need my little extension arm this time now this time uh, my dimension across here so my my punch guide is 13.3 so what I need to do is line this up like I did last time 13.3 punch and this time just like a normal envelope we do A but we also do B Okay, so when I show you out, hopefully it's a bit hard to see, but I've got my niche and I've got two score lines. So just like I did last time, I line it up on the A mark, punch, score A, and score B. So a normal envelope, we just score one. This one, I score both. Okay, so you can see, might be able to just see, it's a little hard. Um, you can see I've got two scores for each one. Again, I can do the corners if I want to. There we go, and I can put my little board aside. Okay, so this time when I'm bending, you'll see I've got two. So I need to score that one and I score the top one. So, and then we simply make our envelope like we normally would. Okay, so if I glued that there, so let me just... Now, you'll see there that I put the two over the top instead of the bottom. And look, it's completely up to you, whatever you want to do. And now you'll see I actually have like a little box that's about a centimetre deep. So if I have something, a bigger card or something with, with 3D stuff in it, it fits in and I have all this extra room where it's not going to squish down. And I can simply just put a nice little sticker there. I could put a wax seal there, anything I like. So there you go. There's the 3D envelope. And how easy was that? <laughs> 